Hello, in this video we are going to cover single column widths. So this is when we have more than one column in a row, but we only specify the width of a single one of them. But let me show you what I mean. So if I just put, you know, call like that, like that, like that, and let me duplicate this so there's for five in total, but the number doesn't really matter they will work regardless and let's say for this one i was to put dash six so if you remember from the all grid sizes video if you don't specify dash sm dash md dash lg dash xl dash xxl it is just the extra small column which trickle all the way up and it is 12 columns wide but what happens when we put six for this one what happens to all the other let's put column four for this let me refresh as you can see this is spanning six columns or six, six spaces in the row and there's a total of 12 that leaves a total of six and it's split it evenly across all the columns three on either side with each you know column taking up one and a half so that's a great way of doing almost like decimals and making it symmetrical you know even in a way without you having to handle all of that but what i'm going to do is create a bit of style and a bit of substance and what i'm going to do is just implement some really basic style i'm going to say dot green so you're going to have a background color of green this is just so we can see the actual columns that work because at the moment it sort of looks like that this is just spanning maybe this amount this is empty that's not the case because there isn't that much text in there so it doesn't fully demonstrate what you know we are doing okay so this is gonna put any color you want so blue red and yellow purple not purple purple and let's just put the corresponding color in the css attribute as well and purple not purple and now let's actually just you know specify for each column and you could have you know, the same color for multiple columns i'm just doing it different just so we can see visually where each column starts and where each column ends okay, so if I reload so there we go this is spanning six which is a total of half of it so this plus this is the other half so this is now three in total this is three each one of these columns the yellow the purple the blue and the green are 1.5 so that is what happens when you specify it for a single column. Let's see what happens as an extra thing. Maybe we put it here instead, dash six. As you can see, it's automatically just did it accordingly. It basically just evens it out for all the other columns. It don't have to be dash six. It could be, you know, anything between dash one. I guess if you put 12, it really won't do anything because you'll span the entire line so i guess 1 to 11 but if it's 11 it doesn't really leave much room to play with if you've got more than one column but you probably want to keep it relatively low but feel free to experiment for your particular website so as usual experiment you know mess around with the code that we've got all the code is on github there's a link in the description to it feel free and i highly recommend that you go to the bootstrap website to just experiment with the code on there the examples on there and you know in general if you have questions feel free to pop me a message or you know the way that you can contact me is available in the description that is the best place pretty much for you outside of this video so thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video